Leaving Neverland. The shocking new documentary's child sexual abuse allegations against Michael Jackson and how the Jackson family's hitting back. Dems dig in. House Democrats launch a sweeping investigation targeting Trump's inner circle. Could this backfire on them and help the president get things started? Now, Whoopi, I know you're watching. Good morning. Whoopi is watching today. I'm that hot lady. Yep. Yes. Excuse me. I'm, oh, I'm Whoopi, sorry. Whoopi is watching. She's at the doctor's. I heard she's watching. So, hi, Whoopi. Let's say hi, Whoopi. Hi, Whoopi. <laughs> we miss you so we much. Miss, we uh -huh. miss you, and we hope you come back soon. Feel better. Okay. So, Anna is here. Anna Navarro. Yes. Yeah. You know, we have a lot to discuss about her wedding because she got married over the weekend, right? Oh, but we don't want, we're going to save that. Is this your honeymoon? What? Is this your honeymoon? No. <laughs> well, I got to work to pay those bills. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not going to talk about the wedding yet because there's this Billy Hot story going around right now where there's a, uh, a documentary about Michael Jackson and people want to talk about it. So maybe you should get the kids out because this is like really kind of gross. I, in fact, could not even bring myself to watch Leaving Neverland. I couldn't watch it. Uh, the HBO documentary where two men make sickening allegations about how Michael Jackson groomed them as children so he could engage in years of child sex abuse. This is the new allegation starting when one of them was just, I can't even say it, seven years old. It makes me sick. Take a look. Once the abuse started, and within that first week, you know, every night that I was with him, there was abuse while my mother was, you know, next door. At the same time, the sexual relationship is growing. He's working on pushing you away from your parents, or pushing you away from everybody else, and, and it feels more like... like it's just you and him. I was really into jewelry. And he would reward me with jewelry for doing sexual acts for him. So, you know, Michael Jackson was by far the biggest superstar in the world at that time. I don't even think there's an equivalent to him today. If these allegations are true, is that how he was able to get away with it? Because people were taken by the cult of celebrity. You know, wh what do you think about that? I mean, how, how is this? God, it's so upsetting. And I think it's, you know, it's so upsetting for, for us who grew up with him, that, right? We're that generation who, for us, he was larger than life and somebody whose songs we know and we still hear too. And so, you know, we keep hearing about these stories over and over and over again. I think uh, we have to say thank you to all the victims who have started to speak. I think part of this is happening now because of the Me Too movement, because it's giving courage to people like Crazy Blassie Ford, like uh, victims of uh, pedophilia by priests, like victims of pedophilia by, and predator, uh, predatory behavior by celebrities to come out and say the truth. Mm -hmm. It's a different time, but it's, it, I'm with you. It's very hard to hear and process. It is. I mean, you know, I spent a lot of my career prosecuting child sex cases, and I, I think one of the things that people will have trouble with is that during the uh, sex abuse trial against Michael Jackson, and uh, a lot of these uh, boys, now men, testified that nothing happened. And so people, I think, now are reluctant to believe them. But I will say that, you know, only 12% of child sex abuse cases are ever reported to the authorities. How many? Only 12%. Um, and that is because sex abuse victims, and especially children, believe that they will not be believed. Mm -hmm. They don't have the language to even explain what has happened to them. Even when, they, um, even when they, women are res, uh, molested yes. or, or attacked. They don't come they forward. Don't, they, they don't, don't think do they're going to be and believed. Those are grown -ups. And they, they feel that the perpetrator will come out against them. Um, and you got to imagine that these people that are grooming them sexually, they're taking the place, they're supplanting the place of their parents. So there are a lot of levels involved in, in trauma as to why <laughs> they would lie um, and and I agree with you Anna there are so many people that are coming forward think about R Kelly
Bradley's victims mm -hmm. that are, have come forward now. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's a real reckoning going on. I have friends that are still prosecuting these cases and they're saying people are finally, finally coming forward. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll see what happens to Michael Jackson's legacy because I think he's been so beloved, his music is so beloved. Will people sort of cancel Michael Jackson? Remember there was this movement, hashtag cancel R. Kelly or mute R. Kelly. Um, will people now stop listening to him? I don't, I don't know what the answer is. Completely. That. If, from, if from, you turned you know, on his song right now, any of his, I mean, I, I love, alleged I love victims. Michael Jackson's music. Mm -hmm. If you turn that on in the room right now, right here, I'd walk out. I would walk out. And I, I, I don't think that there will ever be a point in my life where I hear his hits and not think about this. This is all allegedly, and according to these now men's stories mm -hmm. back in the day, it's brainwashing. It's brainwashing. You make them believe, and he was gentle. They all say that. He was kind, but mm -hmm. he made them believe that he was the only person that could love them that way, that could mm -hmm. give them what they wanted. I got to tell you, we've watched so many documentaries in the past mm -hmm. two years because it's sort of been this movement in this time, and it's all coming to the surface. Um, this was the hardest one for me to watch. Yeah. Oh, God. I, I didn't sleep. Monday yeah. night. It was, I, maybe it's the hormones, but like a seven-year-old boy who is Seven. now talking. And maybe it's because I, I looked at my one-and-a-half-year-old in the eye and I think, you stole their innocence. If this is true, if what these boys are saying is true, you took their innocence. You took their life. You took someone's baby's life. It's a horrible and thing. And so watch it. It is very disturbing. But it was in front of, it was going on in my opinion. I mean, didn't he tell Martin Bashir that this boys were sleeping with I was going to say, yeah. I didn't grow up with Michael Jackson, but I did grow up with Wade Robson because he was a famous choreographer with yeah. Justin Timberlake and yeah. Britney Spears. He's responsible for the Britney Spears snake performance at the VMAs. Mm -hmm. I had a huge crush on him when I was younger. He was a big part on MTV. He's a big mm -hmm. dancer. And I knew Michael Jackson Obviously, I knew his music, but I remember watching the Martin Bashir documentary in mm -hmm. high school where he said, um, it's very charming, it's kind, kids want to be loved, they want to be touched, they want to be held. I remember watching this documentary with my high school boyfriend and being like, he is a pervert. Yeah. So I've been done with Michael Jackson for a while. Mm -hmm. It is a very hard documentary to watch. I watched all four hours, as yeah. you know, as well. I watched Oprah's interview afterward. The people who are shaming Oprah and Wade Robson and James Safechuck, I don't understand it. I don't understand. And there's a big backlash towards this documentary and Oprah as well. They don't want to believe well. it. They don't want to believe I it. I understand we don't want to, uh, in, they're inconvenient <laughs> realities of our icons and of, and of people yeah. in pop culture and, and people in these, in these situations. But I believe James Safechuck and Wade Robson. I believe that Wade Robson didn't want to come forward because he was a big hit maker. He was, he was at the top of his choreographer career as well. And he didn't want to be known as the kid who was molested by Michael Jackson. And when you're talking about the shaming, uh, that is how I interpreted what he and was saying. And they still look the pretty traumatized. And yeah. for those of you who haven't seen it, you should see it because that's the other thing. Allegedly, they, they, allegedly, right. they, they 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 feel traumatized, and then they they you know to sort of push the story away and say, well, I don't want to look at them, I don't want to hear them. You're erasing and devaluing their experience and what happened. Can I to just them. dramatic I for the entire family? Can I yeah, think about the, the, how yeah. excruciating this has got to be for the parents to be hearing it? Two of I them think committed it's a, suicide. You know, it's a yeah. it's a lesson for Two parents. Father. Everywhere, you know, be suspicious. You know, put your yeah. children first. Nothing comes above the kids. Not relationships with celebrities. Not money. Not relationships with teachers. Yeah. Be suspicious and protect your but, kids but above the, everything. This is my problem with this. Yeah. The Catholic Church, the Baptist Church, Hasidic communities—they're all allegations of pedophilia scandals going on in this mm -hmm. as well. So it's not just fame and fortune where right. the, the gross and inconvenient and disgustingness of pedophilia is happening. It's happening. Everywhere it's an culturally. epidemic. It is an epidemic. And it's it's so our least, least protected in our society are the uh, elderly and children. Yeah. And we have to do more about it. Be I, I, do have, with your kids. I, I do have a legal note. Jackson's family and estate have denied all the allegations against him. The estate is suing HBO for $100 million and on behalf of the family, attorney Howard Weitzman stated this. HBO chose to fund and produce a film where they knew the two subjects had for many years testified under oath and told family, friends, and law enforcement enforcement that Jackson did nothing inappropriate to either of them. The Jackson family said in a statement, the facts don't lie, people do. Michael Jackson was and always will be 100% innocent of these false allegations. And when we come... Wait, can I say one more thing? For yeah. whatever it's worth, Macaulay Culkin and Corey Feldman 
both say this didn't happen to them. And they were obviously young boys around him at the time. Just because, and, and, and they do say that, but just because it didn't happen to them does agree. not negate that this may have happened but to he these told, other two boys. I agree. I'm no, going back man. to the Martin Bashir uh, interview. Someone was discussing this this morning. Yeah. When you say that, well, little young boys are in bed with a grown man, yeah. a bell should go off yeah. on the parents. Well, here's what, just before we go, one of the mothers, Jason's, James' mom said, I didn't protect my son. That will always, always haunt me. I had one job. I had one child. I screwed up. She said, I danced when I heard that he died. I was laying in bed, the news came on, and I was, oh, thank God, he can't hurt any more children. I was so happy that he died. That was okay. from the mom right. years, years later. All right, okay, we got that over with. When we come back, we're going to lighten things up and talk about Anna's fabulous wedding this weekend because you won't believe who we were hanging out with. And I've got the